Hey there guys, it's Kyle here. This is Q&A number 32. There are 35 questions for this q and I'm gonna go get started and answer them for you guys. All right, the first question is, did you get any shiny Pokemon that are from the Hoenn region during the Hoenn region Pokemon event? Yes, I did. I already told you in my uh, uh, few other videos about my shiny Talo that I caught right here in my bedroom. <laughs> I was not expecting a shiny Talo. I thought it was just a normal one, but I was not expecting green feathers on the Talo because I know the shiny Talo has green feathers instead of the usual blackish blue. The next question is, did Doug DeMiro ever review the Porsche Cayenne Turbo? Yes, he did. It's in the description below. The next question is, what was the most weirdest minivan Doug DeMiro has ever reviewed? The Toyota Previa. It's in the description below. The next question is, what luxury sedan does Doug DeMiro think is beautiful? The 2001 BMW 750iL. I'll put the review in the description below. The next question is, what videos do you think you might do while you are in Cleveland, Ohio? Um, more Pokemon Go videos. Like, for example, if I get a shiny uh, while I'm in Cleveland, just a random shiny Pokemon, I'll make a video about it. And I do know there are a lot of shelters spawning where I will be in Cleveland. Wish me luck on the shiny shell there, guys. <laughs> I really want that shiny shell there. And by the way, <laughs> there is lots of other shinies that I want to get while I'm in Cleveland. <laughs> Even though last time I caught a shiny gnaw to and hatched a shiny why not while I was, while I was there. <laughs> that was pretty cool. The next question is, did Doug DeMiro ever review the BMW M2 competition? Yes, he did. It's in the description below. The next question is, did you get any of your family members to play Pokemon Go? <laughs> Only a, a few. My mom, my sister. The next question is, have you ever been to any nests that are possibilities of you encountering a shiny Pokemon? Yes, uh, by my dentist's office, um, that area used to be a Pikachu nest, and it would be nice if I had gotten myself a shiny Pikachu while, while I was there at that time. I need to go to more uh, uh, nests to, that would give me a possibility of a shiny Pokemon. The next question is, are you happy that your sister is going to give you a shiny V-Buzz and a shiny Sableye? Hell yeah. Because <laughs> I really want a shiny Sableye and I really want a shiny V-Buzz. But I'm glad my sister caught them for me and she's gonna give them to me. And uh, and she doesn't really care about shinies that much. She uh, actually wants a normal Sableye from me and a Spoink. So I'll give her those for the shiny Sableye and the shiny Phoebus. The next question is, did Doug DeMiro ever review the Ferrari 458 Speciale A? Yes, he did. It's in the description below. The next question is, did Doug DeMiro ever review the Mercedes-Benz CLK DTM? Yes, he did. In the description below, there's a review. The next question is, are you still getting the shiny Santa hat Pikachu from the guy that you are train, trading with? Yes, I'll still get that shiny Pikachu from that guy. We're gonna meet at an HB, uh, uh, with not the HB uh, by my house. It's actually uh, the one that's kind of close to where my sister goes to school. <laughs> I think it's a. Well, it's a place called H-E-B Marketplace. It, inside, it's just a normal H-E-B, but yeah. I gotta make a video at that H-E-B sometime for like, for my mall car collection. Hopefully I'll go there 
sometime. Maybe I'll do it when I after I get the shiny Pikachu. Who knows? The next question is, uh, did you get a shiny Psyduck from the Safari Zone event? Wish I did, but no. I've been shiny checking so many Psyducks. Man, I even, I even shiny checked a lot of Psyducks yesterday, Saturday <laughs> as well, and nothing. But I'm very glad I got at least one shiny, which is the Taylor. The next question is, did Doug DeMiro ever review the Lamborghini LM002? Yeah, he did. It's in the description below. The next question is, did Doug DeMiro ever review the Volkswagen thing? Yes, it's a very ugly car, but I'll put the review in the description below. The next question is, did Doug DeMiro ever, ever review the Mercedes-Benz CL65 AMG. Yes, he did. It's in the description below. Go check it out. The next question is, do you think Fragment Hat Pikachu should come back on Pokemon Go? <laughs> Absolutely. Because, for one, I still don't have a shiny Fragment Hat Pikachu. I'm going to need to find someone who has one that is willing to give up their shiny Fragment Hat Pikachu and then I'll give them a shiny that that person wants because I want to get all four shiny hat Pikachus. Shiny Santa hat Pikachu, shiny Party hat Pikachu, shiny Fragment hat Pikachu, and shiny Witch hat Pikachu. So, wish me luck guys, I really want to get those. And I think Party hat Pikachu might come back in February, so... I really want to see if I could get a shiny Party hat Pikachu in the wild by myself. I hope. I hope I get more lucky with the shiny hat Pikachus uh, this year since I didn't get any shiny hat Pikachus last year. Alright, the next question is, are you going to put the shiny Santa hat Pikachu, the shiny Sableye, and the shiny Phoebus in your 2019 shiny Pokemon video at the end of the year? Yes, but I gotta do December 2019 community day first so I got it so after I do that community day I'll make that video the next question is did Doug DeMiro ever review the Nissan Murano cross cap your leg yeah he did it's in the description below the next question is did Doug DeMiro ever review the Toyota Tundra yes it's in the description below the next question is what was the first soda you have ever tried? Hmm. That's a very good question. I think I think it was either Sprite, Coke, or Dr. Pepper. One of those three. Well, anyway, the next question is What do you think of the new 2020 Toyota Supra? I think it's beautiful. A lot more attractive than the old one. I find the old Toyota Supra to be kind of ugly. Sorry, it's just my personal opinion. I, I know a lot of people think the old Supra is a legend, but it's not to me. I, I find that car to be ugly. But the new Supra, I find that to be gorgeous. The next question is, have you visited a car dealership recently? Yes! I went to a mall, I think a few weeks ago, and in a Tesla dealership. Uh, was inside the mall and I got and I got to see the interior of a Tesla Model 3 and my and my second time going inside a Tesla Model X. The next question is have you ever killed bugs before? Well yes I did. I I don't kill bugs very often but Sometimes I kill bugs with my shoe. Sometimes I'll get a fly swatter and smack the shit out of it. Uh, yeah. The next question is, did Doug DeMiro ever review the original Ford GT? Yes, he did. I'll put the link in the description below. The next question is, where did your sister find the shiny Sableye? At a library by my house. There's a library by my house, and that's where she got that freaking shiny Sableye. 
I'm glad she's giving it to me. The next question is, did Doug DeMiro ever review the 1996 Rolls Royce Silver Spur? Yes, it's in the description below. The next question is, did Doug DeMiro ever review the 2002 Hyundai Aquas? Yes, he did. It's in the description below. Go check it out. The next question is, did Doug DeMiro ever review the Lamborghini Murcielago? Yes, he sure did. I'll put a link in the description below. The next question is, how are we going to get rid of bad users on YouTube? I wish I, I, wish I knew how, but they just keep on going to YouTube and start pissing us off and and this one user told me to go kill myself uh, for absolutely no reason what a fucking asshole he is I'm just really tired of all, all these motherfucking trolls the next question is when did McJuggernuggets get kicked out of his parents house January 15th because he signed an eviction agreement for making bad choices, but I still love his videos. I hope he, uh, I, I hope he like finds a, a place to live. Well, I know he's living with one of his friends right now, him and his brother and his cameraman. Yeah. The next question is, why was your mom jealous at the quarry last week? Uh, it wasn't last week, it was actually the week before, guys. <laughs> uh, it's because I encountered a shiny Nazu at the Starbucks at the quarry. And <laughs> yeah, I encountered that shiny Nazu and she didn't. She was like, God damn it, Kyle, I want to see if I can get a shiny. I'm, I'm like, Mom, you just got to get lucky. <laughs> All right, the next question is, how did your sister get the shiny Phoebes? <laughs> well, she got it from a research. Uh, her and I were walking um, in my neighborhood and then she finished, uh, clicked her reward and a shiny Phoebes uh, appeared and I was just like, whoa, no way, no way. Because <laughs> she had insane luck that day with two shiny Pokemon. The Sableye and the Phoebus. Man, I wish I had her luck. The next question is Where did you go for the Phoebus Research Day? At a park by my house, which, uh, which of course there's a library across, and <laughs> that's the same area where I caught my ground on. <laughs> Even though ground on is one of the coolest legendary Pokemon ever I feel like I should show you my ground on again guys here he is he looks bad ass look at that oh man all right there's one more question for me to answer for you guys and it is how many more shiny Pokemon do you need to get checked off your shiny Pokemon checklist. There's still way too many for me to get checked, for me to, to check them off, but more shinies keep on coming, guys. All right, that's all the questions for this Q&A, and I'm gonna be in Cleveland next week, so uh, next week's Q&A is still going to be uh, next Monday, February 4th, so don't forget to send me questions in the comments below if I and so that way I can answer them for you guys yeah send me questions in the comments for me to answer next week and if if I don't get to answer your question right away it will be on the following week uh, all right but don't worry your questions will be answered all right guys Subscribe to my channel, drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Bye-bye.